Alright, so we're just going to do a quick walkthrough installing MSI Center onto Windows 10. Since we're doing MSI Center, we're going to go over to MSI's website, search for our product. In this case, we have an MSI Meg Ace Z690 motherboard. Here it is. That's going to take us to the MSI product page. In the top right of that sub-tab bar, we're going to click support. You could also just search your make and model, and it will probably take you directly to the correct MSI page from the search results. But we're going to do it this way so that we're going through the proper manufacturer's channels. On the drivers and downloads, we're going to go to click utility. And then choose from the drop-down menu which operating system you're utilizing. Between Windows 10 and 11, it shouldn't really matter. But in this case, we're on Windows 10, so we'll pick Windows 1064. There is MSI Center, the most recent update, 12-28-2022. It's version 2.0.6.0. Click the download button to the right. See down here in the lower left of the browser, it's downloading that file. The download has finished. If we want to view the file, we can click the little arrow over here. Go down to show in folder. Here is the file. So now we're going to extract the file. So the first thing we want to do is right click on the file, go down to properties, and then click unblock this file. Click apply and OK. Now it's ready to be extracted. Right click on that file again, go down to extract all. Show extracted files when completed. Basically just extract it to the folder. Zip folder is currently in. There is MSI Center. We should be ready to install it. So we can just double click it and run the installation wizard. Click yes to allow this app to make changes. Click OK for our language. And then just click install and let it install. It's completing this setup. Click finish. We'll come over to the start menu over here. We should have MSI Center in the recently added software. Click that MSI Center. Just going to go through the privacy policy, scroll all the way down to the bottom of this Bible here, and then click I have read. OK. A new update is available. Do you want to update? Go ahead and click Update. MSI Center is installing and updating. If you had previously uninstalled MSI Center but kept the SDK installed, this is a way you can go through and just make sure those modules are updated that are running in the background. All right. so. Uh, we're just going to click start. You can do these pre-configured selections if you want based on your system usage habits, but we're just going to skip that. Well, it's currently updating the Mystic Light module. If you didn't have the module installed yet, you can come down. Just find the Mystic Light module and install it. In this case, we already had it installed. We already had it running in the background. That's why Corsair IQ can give us control of the motherboard in the Corsair IQ software. We're going to open the Mystic Light module. It's a little bit slow here. That's why a lot of people prefer to use IQ to control the motherboard lighting because it's just it's just easier to work with if you can get it, everything detected in there. MSI Center is kind of a pain in the ass. All right, so we're going to come up to the top tab bar, go to the far right, go to Mystic Light settings. Turn off third-party RGB. Turn off LED power saving mode. We want to make sure the Mystic Light module stays enabled. So make sure this toggle switch stays enabled up here. All right, we're going to click Apply. And that's pretty much it. So now you can uninstall MSI Center if you want to. You can always leave it installed. Just don't have it run. And that way you can open it once in a while and update the MSI Mystic Light module. But if you don't want to have it installed, period, you can just uninstall it, and then later on you can reinstall it. Just to check those updates for your running SDK modules. There's several ways you can uninstall the program in Windows, but one way that you can do it is just come down here and click the Start menu, go to the Recently Added, which was our MSI Center. Right-click on that, click on Install. MSI Center is gone. Down here in the lower right, it says, MSI Center has been uninstalled. Do you want to uninstall MSI Center SDK? Just close that little pop-up box because we want to keep SDK installed. So if you open up Windows Services and we come down to M, you can see MSI Center is still running. 
and so is MSI Mystic Light. That's going to allow IQ to interact with the MSI motherboard. You can restart the system just to get all the software components registered with the system. That's how you install MSI Center on Windows and get it to work with IQ.